All right. Kenya's quest to address the rising demand for low-income housing units is far from being realized, with urban populations increasing by the day. President Kenyatta-led administration had pledged to build at least 500,000 units annually, an underrating that has remained a huge task. But with the new building technologies, and emerging Kenyan contractors are now teaming up with their Chinese counterparts to deliver the acute housing shortage in the country. Population, Kenya is fast becoming a key regional hub for financial services to health, with Nairobi being rated as one of the cities to watch. The city is currently ranked as the world's 145th most expensive city to live in out of 209. But as the country keeps on a growth trajectory, the number of citizens without access to affordable housing has been on the rise. Note that you need to have raised at least 12.5% of the cost of the unit typology that you have elected that you want. The government's affordable housing plan has delivered at least 10,000 housing units to serve the low-income earners in the society. The high demand for housing, the government has not kept up with the pace for a number of reasons. Top among them is securing financiers to actualize the housing pillar and second, the building technology in use. Our company has the, uh, introduced the com, uh, concept of the building a house. Um, for example, like uh, as simple as the uh, manufacturer, uh, manufacturer a car, I think for this new the technology, uh, we be uh, a trend, uh, a trend. The country is running an affordable housing plan meant to deliver cheap houses for the masses. We caught up with one of the key stakeholders in the construction value chain, China Wu Yi, precast company. Uh, we are uh, invest a lot of uh, high quality machine. Most of uh, most of this machine is the is automatic, automatic. Also, most of uh, machine is flown. Uh. The precast concept is currently being used world over as it has been regarded as the technology of the future. So far, the popular technology being employed in many construction sites <laughs> is the traditional brick and mortar. Experts hold that for Africa to accelerate economic development, it is vital for governments to be adaptive to new technologies. We got from Kenya here and uh, we make it also here. Contractors in Kenya are slowly warming up to the precast technology, which has seen a number of projects delivered. Uh, well, I'd say that it has expanded my thinking when it comes to construction, because we knew that when it comes to construction, you have to bring everything in sight. Whereas with precast, you produce everything off-site, and then when you go to the site, you just assemble them, as simple as that. Kenya is ambitiously rolling out several key big ticket projects which has seen an upsurge of multinational contractors tap the local market. We had only government projects by then but now the last year we've been able to do even private sector so it's growing we've been busy we can count I can literally count like two months when we've not had a specific project being done here so it's growing people I would love to see it to a place where people embrace it even in the residentials where you can be able to take your home so i'm hoping people but it will happen when people get to know about it more this has equally seen a spike in jobs created as well as technology transfer kenya's construction sector continues to evolve even as contractors tap into new technologies precast technology is considered as one of the options that can reduce the cost of construction as well as save on time but the biggest hurdle for the uptake of precast has been believability as well as awareness around how it works and how safe is it. For now, many of the contractors are using both the new technologies as well as the contemporary, even as they strike a balance to ensure the projects are up to the task. Abi Agina, KT News, Inathi River. All right.